Good morning, Tino. Today's the big day. Oh, does today have to be today? You can do this. OK. Shower. Rock, rock. Brush my beak. Fly to school. I know. Your first day at a new school is a big change. Mum hugged for courage. Fly to school for real this time. You got this, Tino. Good luck. Yahoo! OK, new school. I can do this. Hi. Are you joining our class? Here, you can sit next to me. Yes. Um, thanks. Hi, every person. Eddie came in through the, the window. Oh, really? Everything. Yeah. He was this oh, big that's incredible. and chewy and oh, no, ah. Good morning, class. Good, Good morning, Dr. Kookaburra. Morning, Cookie Bar. Banana from downtown. Oh, well, getting closer. <laughs> now then, are my eyes playing tricks on me? Or do we have four students here today? There are four of us. Good to know my eyes are working properly, but that means at least one of you is a new student. Yeah, it is! Left, 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 left. I will get to the bottom of this. Let's see who's here. We have Yindi, of course. Hello. Cal is here too. Apple Core from downtown. Lucky shot. And of course, we have Oscar with us. What time is lunch? Lunchtime and good time, dear Oscar. Which surely brings us to our newest student. Hello and welcome. Psst, this is the part where you tell us your name. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm me, Tino. Tino, terrific, terrific, Tino. Tell us, Tino, what makes you terrific? What do you... maybe some stuff? I don't know. No worries, Tino, we can find out together. OK, class. Who is ready for another fun-filled day of discovery? Yeah! Oh, impressive, Tino. Class has only just started and you already have a question? See, I knew you were terrific. What will we be learning today? Why, Tino, that might just be the best question there is. Today we're going to explore up there. The ceiling? A little higher than that. The roof? Cool! I think I left a muffin up there. Forget your roof muffin, Oscar. Besides, I found it and ate it already. No, I'm talking about outer space. Whoa! Very well. Our first stop is the moon. Yes! I've always wanted to go to the moon! But how will we get up there? Aha! Come, class. Let's show Tino how it's done. First, we kickstart our brains. And we can lift up, up and away using nothing but the power of our imagination. First things first. I'm imagining I got my muffin back. Um, I don't know how to... Just let yourself go, Tino. Remember, in your imagination, anything is possible. Okay, I'll try. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Wow, I don't even need to flap my arms. Fun. And we're just getting started. Next up, the moon. Yeah! yeah. Moon, 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 Class, did you know the moon is 384,000 kilometers away? How far is that? Well, let me put it this way. If you stacked up cereal boxes, one on top of the other, you'd need over a billion of them to reach all the way up there. Whoa! Whoa. It'd take me all week to eat that much cereal. <laughs> now, the moon is always moving around and around Earth. And who can guess, is the moon slowly getting closer to Earth or slowly further away from Earth? Oh, is it getting closer and closer? And one day it will crash into us? Like, kabam, splash! 
<laughs> Leaping lizards, cow! Oh my goodness! Although that would be quite fun to watch from a safe distance. But no, thankfully the moon is moving very slowly away from the Earth. Every year it gets about four centimeters further away. That's about the length of a walnut. Hmm, maybe a big grape. Big grape from downtown. You kids make that look so easy. But no time for that now. Back to our journey. That's one small step for a middle-aged kookaburra employed to teach science. So floaty. We can jump so high. Yeah, imagine playing basketball up here. The moon is indeed a very floaty place to be, but who knows why? Is it because there's less gravity? Ding, ding, ding! Kids, what do we do when we hear a correct answer? Ooh, Ooh good, good, answer. Answer. Good, answer. good answer! Yes, little birds. The moon is approximately one quarter the size of Earth, so the gravity pulling us down to the ground is weaker, which allows me to do this. You won't see me doing that on Earth, not with these knees. Hey, check it out, Moon Angel! <laughs> oh, very nice, everyone. Let's take a look. You know, these wonderful works of art would still be here in a million years' time. Same goes for all these footprints we've been making. What? Really? Footprints don't last that long on the beach. Ah, but that's on Earth. Up here on the moon, there's no wind to blow the footprints away. No wind, because there's no air. What? Ah! Oh, Oscar. I can't breathe. How about we just pretend there's air on the moon? Oh, okay. Now, up we go. Ah, oh, just imagine that stunning view. Isn't a beautiful class? It's very shiny. It certainly is. But remember, the moon doesn't actually make its own light. What about moonlight? Great question, Yindi. Yay! Moonlight is actually just light from the sun that bounces off the moon. Oh! Speaking of the sun, let's head there now. But be careful, class. Things could get toasty. Ooh, I love toast. Even the crust. So how are you enjoying your first day of school, Tino? It's... it's not what I expected. What did you expect? I... don't know. The world is full of surprises. I didn't want to change schools. Changing schools is a big change. Big changes aren't easy. No. But remember, there's a place for you here. You mean in the universe? Yes, you have a very special place in the universe, Tino. <laughs> hey, you're not the only one who just had a big change. Who else did? They all had a new student join their class today. Who? Me? Yep, and let me tell you, not all big changes are bad. In fact, some are very, very good. Hey, if we get any closer to the sun, I'm going to need some sunscreen. Right you are, Cal. Let's hold our horses. Whoa! -ho -ho. Hey! <laughs> Boom! <gasps> That's the sun. You can think of it as one big, giant, huge explosion. An explosion so big that the gravity of it keeps it all together in a ball. The sun is an explosion ball! You said it best, Yindi. Now, light comes from the surface of the sun, which is called the photosphere. Say it with me. Photosphere! Right. And boy, oh boy, does a lot of light come from the photosphere. Normally, I'd say never look directly at it because you'll hurt your eyes. But up here in our imaginations, I guess it's okay. How big is the sun? Yes! Another good question. Ooh, 
ya! Let me put it this way. If the Earth were a gumball, and the Sun were a big gumball machine, you could fit about a million Earths inside. Whoa! Indeed, the Sun is very, very big, but also very, very far away. In fact, sunlight takes about eight whole minutes to reach us on Earth. So why is it light on Earth now? Ah, the Earth is lit now by the light that came from the sun eight minutes ago. Oh. So will it take us eight minutes to get home? Yes, if we travelled at the speed of light. The what? Well, it is that time already. Well, there's your homework, class. Come back tomorrow and tell me one fun fact about the speed of light. OK. Lunch time! Yes! yes. Let's play wing ball. Wing ball? Oh, we'll teach you. <laughs> Some things never change. Pear from downtown. <laughs>